I'm Will Devlin, and this is the Great British Chef's Signature Series. I think Kent's amazing for ingredients, and there's some amazing farm shops and small producers from rapeseed oil to cheese to wine, beer, meat, everything. We've got, we're really lucky to be in Kent. I think people are really into pickling now. In this throwaway society that we've got at the moment, preservation becomes less important because you can get everything all year round. But I think especially when you're growing, you've got your, your veg patch in your garden or an allotment, you don't want to waste anything. And that's just a way that people are understanding that more now. It was always a plan for us to grow our ingredients. And as chefs, work on the different varieties and why things taste different. I think if you want the super tasty, fresh ingredients, then to be part of growing it is, is kind of route one. Hi, my name's Will from The Small Holding, and today we're cooking our pork with vegetables from the farm. I love this dish because it just really encapsulates everything we do at The Small Holding. We rear our own pigs, we grow our own vegetables, there's a little bit of preservation going on with some bits from last year, and it's just a lovely rounded dish that really reflects what we do on the farm. So if, uh, this is our Berkshire pig loin, it's cured with some koji, um, and then we've got our carrots from the farm, some chard, a few wild garlic leaves, spring onions, we've got some pickled wild garlic buds, a couple of flowers, some summer savoury, which is an amazing herb, green mustard. Uh, so we grow mustard leaf, um, obviously it does go to seed, and we'll, um, we make other mustards from that. Kind of got that wasabi vibe to it, it's really tasty. So another sauce is uh, fermented pear ketchup, so obviously apple sauce and pork work really well. And we got given some uh, boxes and boxes of pears last year. And one way to sort of last them through the year uh, is, um, uh, is to ferment them on. The, the shoulder has been slow cooked, shredded out. Um, it's almost like a terrine style. Um, and then the, the belly has been confit, so it's been cooked in, in fat, in pork fat. So it's just about showcasing different areas of the pig and how it can be utilized. So pan on. So because this has been seasoned with koji, we don't need to season the pork before we put it in the pan. A couple of minutes, just to get a good bit of caramelisation on the outside. We're just looking for those kind of sugars to start caramelising. It helps us render down the fat on the, the top of the, the pork. So once uh, the pork's had a little bit of roasting in the pan, I'm going to pop it onto the barbecue to get a bit of smoke flavour on it. And it'll be going into the oven for about 10 minutes. Yeah, I mean, to do this at home, I'll just pop it straight on the barbecue. You could cook it the whole way through. I do find that roast, pan roasting meat, just a little bit before it goes in the barbecue is always quite nice. You get, you start the cooking process, you don't have to have your barbecue raging hot. So in that same pan, we started to get a nice umami kind of caramelization on the bottom of the pan. And we're going with our roasted braised meat and comfy meat. It's already been cooked. We're just gonna roast these on all sides to get a bit of color. So once I've had a good sort of color on the barbecue, into, back into the pan, skin side down so that fat starts to render, and then into the oven. Okay, so pork's out of the oven. It was in for about eight minutes. Uh, then we got it at 180 degrees. And then uh, time to rest. I think a lot of people say like resting time is, isn't optional. And I think that's become a little bit more apparent now, nowadays. So you've got great caramelization on the side. You just lift out the, the belly and the shoulder. Onto the garnish, we're just going to blanch our carrots, little baby carrots. They do grow a little bit bigger than that, but really there's a quite a concentration of sweet carrot flavour in there. Just tops and bottoms off. Okay, so carrots going in, just to some seasoned boiling water, um, and there'll just be a couple of minutes. We still want a bit of bite to them, um, and then we're going to use some of the carrot tops as well. So carrots, in for 10 minutes and then just go in half, let them cool, then we can roast them in the pan. In the pan that we've cooked the pork in, uh, we're just going to start to roast the vegetables. The carrots, a little bit of season on the face where we cut them in half, and then into the same pan we cooked the pork with all of those juices. Okay, so now the carrots have got a bit of caramelization, they've really taken on all of that pork flavor. Any excess cooking juices we just discard for now. We will reuse that in the gravy. We'll just emulsify a little bit of the fat back through it. And now in with our softer leaves. So we've got our chard. Chard we have kind of all year round. Got some of the red leaves and some of the yellow golden chard. Just into the pan, it'll start to wilt down. We're also going in with our spring onions or baby onions. 
a little bit of the cooking liquor we put the carrots in. It's just gonna help deglaze the bottom of the pan. And our butter, we make our own butter. Uh, we're using cream from Hinkston Dairy that are just up the road from us. they have got Guernsey cows. So yeah, if, if, it's, if we don't grow it on the farm, it definitely comes from somewhere, somewhere that we know. We're not exclusive to just Kent. We're obviously using some of the best seafood from up in Scotland or down in Cornwall. Um, but the majority of the stuff that we're using is produced in the, or grown in the same way that we believe in. And so that's what's really important to us. Just going in with a couple of leaves of wild garlic, just at the end, once the chard started to break down. And then we've got some of our um, fresh garlic as well. I'll just crush, just to uh, season that butter. This is the summer savory, which is kind of thyme, rosemary-esque. Again, we're just kind of like scenting that, that flavored butter, just to glaze over the vegetables. Okay, so we're ready to plate. Uh, we've got our fermented pear ketchup, our green mustard sauce, our roasted carrots, and the charred onions. So the meat's been resting for about five minutes now. We're just going to carve a nice chunk. And we have our slow cooked belly. A little nugget of our crispy shoulder with a couple of pickles, a couple of cabbage flowers, and obviously some crackling. Okay, and then we finish with our sauce. So this is a roasted sauce using all the pork bones. And we just splash a touch of peri vinegar just to give a bit of a, a sharpness just over the meat. Now we have our roast pork with vegetables from the farm. 